Fresh Sales CRM Tutorial, how to use the Freshworks CRM. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Freshwork Fresh Sales CRM. Fresh Sales is powered by AI and is an amazing sales CRM, which can help you in managing leads from their qualification to negotiation and deal closing. Freshworks has amazing tools from Fresh Desk, Fresh Service, Fresh Marketer, and Fresh Chat, and now they even have Fresh Sales CRM. Now, to get started, simply head on over to freshworks.com slash CRM slash sales. Now over here, you can go through some of the features, integrations, and the new tools included in Fresh Sales. We're going to click on sign up for free over here to get started with our Fresh Sales account. So we're going to sign up with Google for a 21 day free trial and I'm going to be just proceeding on with my email address to get started with my sign up on Freshworks Fresh Sales CRM. Now if you already have a Freshworks account, you can sign up for that and just click on their apps section and include the Fresh Sales application because they're all, you know, in the same sphere, in the same, you know, universe of tools. So we're just going to wait for our sign up to be completed. And if it's a bit slow, you can always sign up with your actual email address. Just going to proceed over here and then click on try it for free. And then once we have done that, we will be redirected to our fresh sales account. So this is what your onboarding is going to look like. First off, you're going to choose the industry that you are in. So let's say that we are in e-commerce and we're using Shopify. And then we're going to click on get started over here. Now for every industry, your CRM might look slightly different. So you want to make sure that you select the um, industry that you are in. So it's a bit accurate to what you are going to be seeing. Now on the left first, you have a dashboard section, which allows you you create a summarized view of everything. Then on the left, you have a contact section. This includes an all contact section, new, and then my contacts, so on and so forth. You have different views that can be modified. Then you have an account section, and every contact can be related to an account. Then after that, you have a deals section. Your deals section is going to serve as your CRM pipeline where you're able to manage everything and you're going to be able to see what stage any deal is in. Then you have conversations as well as analytics and administrative settings. So in your administrative settings, you actually have your deals and pipelines and you can go into your pipelines over here and your basic default pipeline, you can see Deals go stale after 30 days. You can click on edit and we can actually change this. So for us, let's say we're doing wholesale retail. So instead of naming this the default pipeline, this is going to be our wholesale retail pipeline. And this is new qualification, discovery, demo, negotiation. So discovery is not something that fits, um, you know, our particular stages. So I'm going to remove that. And new qualification, demonstration, negotiation, one and lost i think this looks better and then you can also add the probability of the deal that is going to close so maybe when you are negotiating you have an 80 percent chance that it is going to be one and after that you by default can summarize deal stages using weighted deal value or the general deal value and let's say our deals go stale after 30 days if your time period is longer than that you can add more days to this click on save and this will build your crm pipeline now for any crm the first step you're going to do is add your contacts click on contacts on the left and then click on import contacts from here you can import your contacts from csv excel google contacts hubspot oho insightly salesforce pipedrive or even outlook but if you don't have your contacts in a list and you're just new to business you can manually add individual contacts by clicking on add contact on you can click on show all fields to display all fields that are related to any contact and even click on customize fields to add more fields for contact categorization so let's say that the person we are adding is this person over here which is myself and i'm going to pick a label this is work we're going to add their first name and their last name then you can type in a account that is related to them 
Now, whenever you're adding new contacts, it might be possible that you just newly contacted a business and you haven't added their account into the Fresh Sales CRM. So in that particular situation where you have not added the account, you can click on add more accounts and you can link them to, you know, multiple uh, accounts as well. But if you just type into search, let's say their brand is called Meraki, you will see you're not going to see any options. So you're going to have to leave it as a blank for now. And then you're going to add their title. And then after that, I'm just going to click on save. Once I click on save, whenever I create a new contact, this will provide me with a account or a, a contact overview. You have the customer fit. So the AI is going to analyze the customer's info. You can add linked deals. You can add linked accounts like so. You can add conversations, contact details, and you can also choose the life cycle stage that they are in. So whether they are interested or unqualified, qualified or lost. Now I'm going to go into the account section, click on add account, and I can add my new account like this. And then I can choose the number of employees, the industry type, and click on save. Once I add that, I will click on contacts, click on add contact, and you can add that in contact or you can go in, if you're not adding new contacts go into your contacts tab and then i'm going to click on add account and i'm going to search for the account that i just created and click on save and my new account is going to be linked i think this process is going to be a whole lot more smoother if you add your account first and then add your deals and contact that's just going to work a bit more smoothly as compared to first, you know, creating an account and then going back into, um, you know, contacts and so on and so forth. Now, once we have created the contact and the account, it's time to start building the deal. So go into the deal section over here. And once you do that, click on add deal on the top right. You're going to add the related contact for this. So let's say this is Janet Doe. Your related account is Miraki. And then we're going to choose the deal type. So this is Benshin. And I'm going to write the deal name. So let's say the deal name is going to be um, Wholesale Button Supply. So let's say we're going to supply buttons to them. And let's say the deal value is at $50,000. And then we can add the stage. So we are in the qualification stage. And from here, you can click on Category and you can add the products that are related. So over here, we have consumables, we have hardware over here. We can just click on add new product and just add a new product that you are selling. So let's say we sell metal button buttons, and this is going to be one-time pricing. And we're going to add a unit price of 0 0.5. Let's say that's how much it costs us to build a single button. And then we're just going to add that. We can add the quantity and the products that we're going to add to this deal. Let's say we're going to provide them with 100,000 buttons, and that's going to amount to 50,000. And we're going to give them a 1% discount, or let's say a 3% discount. And then I can click on save. And once we do that, we can see over here we have, you know, the overall information about the deal. And now if you go into your deals tab, you can find it under, you know, the specific category it is in. So just like that, you can get started with managing your CRM using fresh sales. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.